MMA fighter Marcus Cowell's 15-month-old baby will donate his organs today just days after he was struck by a suspected drunk driver. KKLI's Christine Lazar spoke with the family about their tragic decision. Mwah. Marcus Koval never wanted his son Liam to follow in his footsteps and be a fighter. As it turns out, the 15-month-old is just that, clinging to life for three days here at Harbor UCLA Medical Center so that his organs can be donated before he's taken off life support. We've been told that eight to nine children can potentially live because of because of Liam. The toddler was left brain dead after Hawthorne police say 72-year-old Donna Marie Higgins plowed through a crosswalk, striking Liam as he was sitting in a stroller being pushed by his 15-year-old aunt, who was also injured in the hit and run. This footage showing that she pressed the button for the crossing and this lady didn't break before she hit the stroller. Police say Higgins had been drinking and had mixed alcohol with prescription medication. I've always said it, you know, someone takes from me, I, I, I take back. And uh, I'm really surprised, actually, that I don't feel any rage. I haven't felt any rage. I don't feel any hatred. Instead, Koval, who is an MMA fighter, has focused his energy on starting a foundation in his only child's memory. He and his wife have been by Liam's bedside since the accident on Saturday. This afternoon, he will be taken off life support and go into surgery. It looks like he's sleeping when you look at him, you know, but you have to, you have to accept that he's not there. I loved him so much. In Hawthorne, Christine Lazar, KCAL 9 News. The lead investigator says he expects that the suspect's charges will be elevated to felony vehicular manslaughter, and he is planning to meet with the district attorney today.